Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on long multiplication. So in this video we're going to be looking at the grid method for long multiplication. So uh, let's look at an example of 213 times 74. Now when we do the grid method we have to split each of these two values into its constituent parts. So what does that mean? Uh, well we'll write the larger number on the top first of all. So we're doing a multiplication here. So you can put the multiplication symbol in here. Uh, but then the 213 will split up into 200, 10, and 3. So 200 plus 10 plus 3. So what I've done there is I've split it into the hundreds, the tens, and the single units or single digits. Uh, and then, or the ones if you like. Then we do the same for the 74. So we've got 70 and 4. And then we just turn this into a grid. So what we're doing is we're multiplying uh, the number on the top by the number on the side for each of these spaces in the grid. Uh, so we'll start with 200 times 70. So 200 times 70 you can treat as 2 times 7 which is 14 and then you just add the zeros in. So there's three zeros here so we put three zeros uh, after the 14. Uh, 4 times 200 is 800. 10 times 70 700. 10 times 4 40. 3 times 70 is 210 and 3 times 4 is 12. So now all we have to do is sum up each of the values inside the grid here. So now uh, we've got 14,000 plus 800 plus 700 plus 40. Oops, that should be over here. Uh, plus 210 plus 12. So uh, if we go through each of these columns, we'll start on the right. Uh, so this column sums to two, because there's only a two in this column, and the rest are zeros. Then we've got four plus one plus one, which is six. We've got eight plus seven, which is 15, add two, which is 17. And we'll carry the one. Then we have four plus that one is five. And then finally, we just have a one in this column. So our final answer is 15,762. So that is the grid method for long multiplication. Now let's move on to look at an example now. Uh, so this is the second example. We've got 23 times 281. We'll do the same thing here. So again, we'll make our grid. This time it's 281 times 23. Uh, so let's whiz through these then. So two times two is four. We'll add these zeros in. So there's three zeros in total. So that's 4,000. 20 times 200 is 4,000. Then we have three times 200. 600, 20 times 80, well 2 times 8 is 16, you can add the zeros in, gives you uh, 1,600, sorry, and 3 times 80 is 240, uh, 20 times 1 is 20, and 3 times 1 is 3. So if we sum all of these up, we've got 4,000, 1,600, 600, 240, 20, and 3. Uh, so the sum of this far right column is 3. Uh, the sum of the middle column here, 4 plus 2 is 6. Uh, then we have 6 plus 6 plus 2, so that's 12 plus 2, which is 14. Then we carry the 1, and we've got 4 plus 1 plus 1. So that gives us a 6 in this column. So our final answer then is 6,463. If you want to get some practice in with this topic, you can do so with our online exam. It's available through our revision platform. So if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at. Uh, so all of this is really good practice for your exam and it'll help you prepare. You'll get instant feedback on every question. So uh, it's a really good way of finding out where you went wrong and helping you improve in the long run. So if you're interested, you can click the link below and it will take you straight over there.